right, I'm here with Billy and Adam, and uh, we're here at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. Once again, yep. And um, you guys are my first customers for the day. Early bird, so... Um, the early bird. We're coming early, man. Yeah. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. I am extremely tired. <laughs> I had zero sleep, man. But that's what you do sometimes for the, for the thrill of the hunt. Absolutely. For that toy hunt. 100%. We well, were up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yeah, we'll up, ready to go. Oh, bro. Look, can you see all the bags are... Have you already made some purchases? So do I. <laughs> oh, my God. What have you got? Oh, wow. Look at that. Far out. What are we looking at here? This is Young Blood Ultra yeah. Action Figures. Part of the Spawn series. Ah, oh, right. And it says Die Hard on it. Like, like Bruce name. Willis. <laughs> oh, that's the character's that's name. name. Yeah, that's his name. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at that, grab a hold of that yeah. one. And what else did you, you found a Predator. Dude. Still in the, in the baggie, fresh in the baggie. That's it. <laughs> wow. Now, is there anything on my stall, Adam, that takes your fancy? I want that ring, man. That ring, right there. What do you, you want the that? retro ring. What do you got on that ring? I don't know, what about 150 bucks? 150 bucks? 150 for the retro ring. He's gone. Oh, he's got the cash. Sold, Look at that! Sold, buddy. <laughs> sold, Adam, buddy. take that home. It's Cheers. on the foreign carding and everything. That's not. That's not. That's not common. The foreign carding. Look at that. Yeah. Thanks so much, Thanks, guys. Mate. Take care. See you. You're gonna hit the button, yeah? Yeah, hundred percent. Boom. 100%. made some early purchases already. Yes. We've got a Casey Jones Turtles figure. No accessories, but... No, no, actually there is. Oh, what? There is, yeah. I've got his little um, golf bag and he's... Oh, dude. Yeah. 40 bucks. 40 bucks with the accessories all day long. Yeah. Wow. And, and I've got a uh, shredder with his accessories for 55. I thought that was pretty good. Man, look at that. Is that what he came with, that cloth? Yeah, cloth Soft cape, goods. And, um, swords and a couple of other... Weapons. Because you never seen with the cloth cape. He's no, always naked. Always. He's, he's always nudie rudy like John's yes. one over here. Like this, one. this is how we <laughs> this is how we always see yeah. poor Shredder. Yeah. I sold one a little while ago that had uh, had the cloth had, cape. Had his cape, yeah. But really? This when he no. goes out for dinner and then he wears Yeah. Yeah, when he's <laughs> That's his, I'm, I'm slipping into something more comfortable though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is a sexy time uh, Lord Shredder. <laughs> and this is uh, yeah. pre, pre That's his stripper outfit. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Oh, Come on, fantastic. Ladies. Good price though. Good price. What an amazing... Yeah, 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, there are still bargains to be had out there, ladies and gents. There so certainly is. You've just got to be early. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. Sneak in the back door. <laughs>
there this morning mate what have you picked up wow. I just uh, stopped by the local Quicks food yes. store yes. about uh, 12 years ago and uh, <laughs> got myself a uh, shiver you got yourself a shiver is it's that... the equivalent of a uh, slurpee a slurpee from Quicks but in Quicks form but this one's quite special because it's everything is special here right that's it it's a nightmare Quicks shiver cup indeed it is yeah if you can hunt me down a slush puppy cup I'll be interested in those. <laughs> I seem to have a talent for, for hustling down these things. I don't know Man. why, but they just pop up. So I'll give you five bucks if you do a shot out of it. <laughs> look at it, look at it. <laughs> it's pretty filthy, yeah. Someone did have a shiver in this. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> and then they never, they never bothered cleaning it. <laughs> yeah, I, I shudder to That's think of the history, um, you know, what that cup has been through. But, what year uh, did that have been from? Is that early 90s? That's a really good question. So I've seen one with Nightmare 3 on it. And do you know what year Nightmare 3 came out? I don't. No, neither do I. I'd say probably. They were all 90s though, 90s. like early 90s, yeah. yeah. Early 90s. What an item. Or mid 90s or something. Let's go on straight to the pool room. <laughs> I'm here with Simon Shakta. Shakta? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pronounced yeah. very well. There you go, Shakta. And <laughs> you've made some yeah. purchases made some already. Purchases. Yeah, made, made, made Ooh, did you get these from Phil? Uh, up on the table up there. Sounds like he's a wrestler himself. 
what, what he's talking. But, um, oh, I think I know who you, uh, yeah, yeah, who you got, got these a, from. Uh, I think it's Andy. Did you get it from Andy? He's really uh, buffed yeah. with, with tattoos. Yeah, he's got a lot of tattoos. And, and, and he's, he's wearing a bandana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Andy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's the man. Uh, so I got some knockoffs, I guess. Looks like uh, Andre the Giant here. Ooh, knockoff uh, Andre. Rembrandt. Look at that. And uh, Is that a Hogan? Yeah, we got a Hogan there as well. Oh, the bootleg Hogan. <laughs> yeah, now, I reckon that that um, that is definitely a like a knockoff of like the Motu guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely Motu the universe. Like yeah. a little belt there as well. Yeah. Motu fairy. Oh, my God. And how much were these? Uh, 20 bucks for the pair. For the pair? Yeah, yeah. That's a bargain. Yeah, man. I, I love up. bootlegs. They're so fun. <laughs> Look at that. Um, That's then, awesome. Oh, and what else do you get? A couple, of, a couple of games as well. Ooh, we got Forces of Fear for the Game Boy. And we also have the Adams Family. So you actually have a, a Game Boy like, yeah, to actually yeah. play these on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Give them a blow. Hope they still work. And, uh, <laughs> Just, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. And what did you yeah. find, Gianni? What have you got? So I made a trade with Bo upstairs. Ooh. I traded him an elite for uh, Elite 6 Matt Hardy. I'm a major Matt Hardy mark. Okay, so this is going straight to the Matt Hardy shelf? Of course. Wow. And it's a bit of soft goods there as well, I see. Yeah. It's, with a Velcro in the back? Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite Matt Hardy attires. I, I love this weird time when he was just wearing the tights because it's just out of, out of whack. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's an awesome figure. That is super cool. So many cool finds. Don't drop, drop him. Don't drop it. <laughs> like he's jumping off the top rope or something yeah, straight do, to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks lads. Nightmare, the video board game number three. Look at that. Annie de Ch Chantrain, the witch. And I think we also have Baron Samadhi. Look at him. Yes. So cool. Because I've been here the last few toy fairs and I always enjoy seeing them. Multiplying. Look at these Buzz Light years, all in one spot. There's another one. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Buster sticker. How cool is that? X rental, nine ninety five.
All right, I'm here at Scott. At the, I'm here at Scott. That's hilarious. I'm so tired. I'm here with Scott at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. And um, if you saw my video a couple of weeks ago, I picked up a couple of new Legion of Doom. And um, these are going to Scott's collection now. That's what right. it's all about. You know, he needs them for his collection. So they're going home with you. No worries. How good's that? that? Fantastic. And you've got a Millennium Falcon there, Damn. Scott. What have you got there? Is this an original? Yep. That Missing all the sick. guts, but 40 bucks. $40. That's a bargain. Yeah. I reckon you could find some of the parts to it and put them all back together and get it back to its former glory. True, true, very true. And did you make, oh, and you've got the, the, yep. the giant X-Wing down here, dude. Look at this thing is huge. I have this in my house. Yeah. I've got it suspended with some fishing wire. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hang it to the ceiling of this shit. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah it's gonna look great. Oh, a couple of vehicles, a couple of Hasbros. Scott, you've done well today at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. No worries. Boom. <laughs> hey, man. Tell us about the Moss Isley Space Port. Yep, so uh, the Star Walking Australian Star Wars Fan Club. Uh, Star Walking? Yep. They, oh. they produced that. Wow. So as one of their um, commemorative events. That is a cool, cool item full of scum and villainy. <laughs> Probably not best not to drink it then. <laughs> yes, we must be cautious. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. You've got some vintage carded A few, yep. um, Star Wars figures. Star Wars figures. There's Admiral Akbar right there. And Princess Leia. I love the picture of her on that card back. That is such a great capturing of like that moment in the film. I do like the car backs on long vintage ones. So, so cool. There's Nim Num with the triple Return of the Jedi uh, foreign carding. Looks like uh, Paplu is missing, but we've got the card, which is pretty cool. And then a Return of the Jedi Han Solo just looking dashing. Look, he's just chilling. No Fs given. Exactly. <laughs> just leaning up against the side of the Bespin. Uh, Looking cool, which is Just, what he does best. That's what he does best. Oh, and you've got some of the, the mini vehicles here. Look at those. Wow. So cool. And the B-Wing. Oh, that's Is that an original? Yeah, it is. That's in incredible condition. It is, it is missing a few pieces, though, like, and that fall off. Oh, uh, okay, but still, <laughs> like, yeah. if you didn't know, display-wise, that's amazing. Yeah. It really pops. Like, look at the yellow on that. It's so fresh and clean. All the decals inside. That is killer. I remember playing with the B-Wing in the doctor's surgery as a kid growing up. Okay. And every time I'd go to the doctor's, I would just be so excited. Yeah. Because we didn't have the B-Wing at home. Yep. So I would get to play with it at the doctor's surgery. That's that's a pretty cool doctor. Yeah, it was beat to shit. <laughs> Still, it's fun. Absolutely. We got the Hoth playset here as well with the turret. And what's this? That's from Battlestar Galactica. Ah, that's why I don't recognise it. Yep. Whoa. Far out. G'day everyone, Sizdog here for Nostalgia Button. I'm here at Trippy Trades because Trippy Trades have come on board as Nostalgia Button's first ever sponsor. We've got a discount code for all our loyal subscribers. It's Button15. Throw that into trippytrades.com.au and you will get 15% off store wide. Check out their website. They've got everything from PS1 to PS5, Xbox 360, Xbox One, all the Xboxes. Button 15, store wide, trippy trades. Get on top of it, buttoners. Oh yeah. Right, and so this is the one we met. The bushwhackers here, the Hasbros. Yeah, so when we met this bushwhacker at WrestleCon, he said, where are you blokes from? And I said, oh, Australia. And he goes, steak and kidney? And I just went, what? And Fresh goes to me, he's asking if you're from Sydney. So I don't speak that language. This is our CM Punk edition, where we're snacking on it. 
Wagon wheel. The I don't wagon know if the wheels? wagon wheels are getting smaller or I'm getting bigger. The kids got me on the Pringles. Oh my god. And I'll tell you what. Uh, the Bret Hart Pop. Bret Hart Pop. Now, I didn't realise I've got a pink Bret, but I didn't realise it was a black on black WCW Bret. Oh, look at that. That's cool. They've got the old X Men Happy Meals. The Oops. Happy Meal. And the first three issues of the Turtles comic. Oh, wow. What'd you get, Mikey? You got any business? You got some pickups there, Mikey? Yeah, he gets wrestling. Look at it. Yeah, there's look, a couple of dollars got? in there. I got a little yeah. Turtles yeah. magazine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Bold out's been done. Is that, that Hogan? Is that Hogan as a turtle? That's Hogan as a turtle. Look at that. Well. Hulko. That is perfect. That's the best gold coin donation I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And what did you pick up, brother? A wagon wheel. A wagon wheel. So <laughs> so I tell you what, I got a lot of heat with the kid who's selling them. He's selling us wagon wheels, Pringles. Kids sitting there eating an apple. I said, mate, what are you doing? You gotta clog our your arteries. You've got to get high on your own supply. Oh yeah, and Geek Dudes is back too. Check out the Geek Dudes podcast, Facebook.com forward slash Geek Dudes. Geek Dudes. Back. Sub not safe to look anywhere. No, not at all. No, not at all. We've got Alice Cooper there. Look at him looking fabulous. Goes to Hair House Warehouse in Melbourne Central to get his hair done. Really? While really? he's still attached to it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, boys. Peace. Thanks, sis. Give it the four bucks to one wedge, okay? Oh, you already own it. All right, yeah. That's why I'm excited to see it. Yeah, yeah very cool. Look at these. Winter of the mind's eye. <laughs> God, Henry. Now you come and say hello. We've got the 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 mother load of Star Trek. Is this your is this your stock? Is this Rob's stock? The Fig Man. The Fig Man 3000. 5000? <laughs> no, it's 5000. It was just 5000. Fig Man 5000. Because we're friends, just Fig Man. Yeah, just Fig Man. <laughs> oh my god, you've got Lacutus of Borg. He's been taken over. Oh, is that Lacutus? No, that's just a generic no, I, Borg. Don't ask me about, um, that's a generic Borg. I've got the uh, bird of prey sealed. Phaser. You've got a sealed bird of prey. Look at that. Can you say you wanted one? And you've got a phaser as well. Yeah. We've got to see a map. We've got a. No, you've got a setup over here, Rob. You, want, you, want a, um, you wanted a Humphrey B. Bear 1983, didn't you? I was chasing that and now we've found it. So that's perfect. <laughs> Look at all these LJNs. Far out. The Fig Man's actually parting with stuff for a change. Mate. I, I'm a little bit blown away by this setup. It's incredible. And you only come up now. You're waiting for it all day. I know, Six. mate. Well, I, I was trying to make some money so I can come here and spend some money. I've <laughs> got some LJNs, I've got some Hasbro's, I've got some Chuck Norris. Things you every day. I've got Bo Derek. Bo Derek, where's Bo? Wow. Where's Bo Derek? I have Bo Derek cards. Oh, where's Bo Derek? There they are. There's Bo. There's, There's Bo. Bo right there. I've got something you don't see every day. I've got Desert Storm. Chance to find Saddam Hussein's rookie card in there. Okay, that's that's pretty wild. I just found out. I thought it was like some knockoff GI Joe, but apparently they're actually propaganda. Man, that's a uh, mask, a Sinkara. I had him stare over. They're all sold. Got a few retros here, just chilling. I've got Iron Man. I've got uh, vintage uh, Superman. I've got NWA Wonderama. Yeah, dude. You've got it all. Home. I've got a layer storm. I've got vintage turtles, mate. I've got Star Wars. You've even got a full display happening here, man. I've got Pepsi Chrono. You know what this is? You didn't know what this is, Dave. You don't know? Let's get that down. Let's take a closer look at that. This is stuff doesn't know about the Star Wars. What's it doing? What on earth? Pepsi promo for uh, the Phantom Menace. So it's a window it's a, box. It's a bottle cap, a uh, bottle topper. Look at I've got that. that one, and I've got Pepsi Man. And Pepsi Man. Oh. oh. There we go. Wow. So many cool items at this. I'm just completely blown away. Look at all this stuff. You've got Leader, Series 13. Look at that head sculpt. She looks like a vampire. Fantastic. Tommy Dreamer in the American WWE logo. That's wild. Stephanie McMahon, Sunday Night Heat edition. Oh, sorry, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. This must have been the McMahon Helmsley era. I know you came here for the, um, 
the Franklin Mint doll. That's what I've been chasing. And well, I told you, I'd bring them. I mean, you're lucky you came it's out. Finally it's here. Sold, you know. Oh my god! And you've also got some Hasbro mini wrestlers there. Look at those. Wow. Let's let's get them off the shelf. Let's have a quick squeeze. Wow, look at that. I've never seen these in person. They're pretty cool. For use with the Royal Rumble wrestling ring. Got the Legion of Doom there. And this one's featuring the Bushwhackers, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and of course, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Look at him. Mint on card. Wow. So cool. Alright, I'm here at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair with Scott. Uh, I've, I've been selling this for a little while. I had no idea what it was. And it actually has Scott's name on it. Whoever was the previous owner was named Scott. And now Scotty's taking it home. Very happy. How good Absolute is that? Bargain. You should play this with my old man back in the, back in the 70s, 80s. So it's... Um... Yeah, wow. a bit of a special one. It was meant to go home yeah, with you, going. Scott. It's that going. is awesome. Going home now. Thanks very much. No worries. Here with Tim and Andy, the Lobos Collectibles crew, and you've picked up a Knight Rider lunchbox. At the, at the do it. Look at that. At the do it. So I actually have this lunchbox. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and my one is signed. Oh, no. But we have no idea if it's authentic. <laughs> well, he was down. He was really? down. Yeah. Okay. A couple of years ago, the hop was down, so probably is. Oh, but this was like, I bought it maybe six so, yeah, years ago right. and it was already signed, so. Yeah, you got that. Really? Yep, we got the paperwork for it as well in case you want to confirm it. Well, down, so. okay, we'll have to look to see. Mine isn't complete. But, oh no, you've got, what have you got in there? Some just, more pickups. Just pickups, mate. That's it. Wow, you've got <laughs> Fireman Sam. Look at that. that. Cool. There it is. Really early Fireman Sam truck. Oh, there you go. And you've got Boss Hog. <laughs> it's okay. Boss Hog. From Due to Hazard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is to epic, get it. dude. To get it. And oh my god, did you spend $100 on this? No, it was a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. <laughs> About 90 bucks for this little bag of goodness? A little is that bag a of goodness. G.I. Joe? Tiger Force. Wow. And just some little odds and ends. Yeah, look at these. It's a lunchbox full of goodness, full yeah. of nostalgia. That's full it. That's what we want, mate. That's what we want. This is what we. Oh, and is that a um, original Transformers cassette? Look at that. That is cool, man. Yeah, I picked up the other one, his buddy. Oh, dude, I remember. I had this one. Oh, there you go. I 100% had this blue one. That is so cool. Wow, and you had other things, but you've already we gone had to, to the car. Oh, yeah, this is the to. best of it. But this is the best of the best. We've the got best some more treasure best. to have a little look at here. What else did we yeah. find? Oh, yeah. One more Transformer. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I like it. That sounds like a reasonable... Look at that one, Get man. away. Get what away. Makes, what makes Sorry, it special? Just got to interrupt you. Yeah. Who would be the premier Star Wars person in the venue today? <laughs> the premier, premier Star Wars person? Yes. Are we talking vintage or are we talking yeah, vintage, new school? Vintage. Vintage uh, Someone's Star inquiring Wars? about a Boba Fett, rocket firing Boba Fett. Well, they don't exist. That's original. It's like a unicorn, mate. They're not exactly real. Right. His cousin's got one. Yeah, 78. His cousin doesn't have one. There's only five on the planet. We know where they all are. <laughs> all right, well, here you go. Here you go. Is there a rocket? Almost as good. It's been graded. 
<laughs> I'd have to see it to believe it. Yeah. There you go. You never know. Checking the photos. There you go. So we could have found another rock firing Bubba Fett live on the Nostalgia Button. Who knew? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to believe. Like the Loch Ness Monster. I don't know. It's it. I don't know. Dragon's teeth. Dragon's teeth. Dragon's <laughs> teeth, mate. Come on. All right, let's hit the button, boys. One, two, three. Button! Jim Carrey is the Riddler, John. That's right. There he is. Batman Forever, if I'm not mistaken. Batman Forever. Look yeah. at that sculpt on his head. Fantastic. And you still have a couple of the mugs. I just drank out of my Star Wars mug that you gave me. <laughs> How good is that? Wow. Yeah, surprising the mugs aren't selling. It's funny, that. Well, I mean, you'd think it, they would fly off the shelves. You would at a toy fair. The toy fair, a Star Wars mug. You got, yep. you got BB-8 right there. One of the lovable characters from those new films that Disney produced a couple of years back. But when then we've got the classic Darth Vader with a... Oh, and he's got his fist. Look, he's angry with the Force. 45 bucks for Boosh if anybody wants this uh, feared bounty hunter. Look at him. How's it going, man? Really good, bro. Really good. You guys had a good day today? Fantastic day. Yeah? Thank you. Got so many Star Wars items in here. There's still quite a bit to take home. <laughs> yeah, well, but you've, you've sold some stock, though? We have. A lot awesome. of stock here. Awesome. We've got 3PO here, R2-D2. Looks like you've got an action man yes. just chilling <laughs> with the 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> How cool is that? Hair, man. And the yeah, it's like a... Like a Looks like a Chia pet on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, and the new school uh, Superman. Is that Henry Cavill? A bit or is small, that... a bit small to be Henry Cavill, yeah. yeah. More muscle in 
And it looks like he's um he's hurt his elbow there and he might need to go to the doctors. <laughs> put him down, we'll put him down. He's, he's had a tough time. He's, he's had enough. Wow, look at this. Black Series Jar Jar Binks. He comes with his uh, Naboo shield. And a Jar Jar tie. And a what? And a Jar Jar tie. Oh, you're rocking the tie, bro. Look at that. <laughs> But you've got no shirt on. I don't know. It's casual. It's casual day. <laughs> it's casual day. I love it. Oh, wow. Game of Thrones. Jedi Starfighter from Revenge of the Sith. Missed the color, yeah. The, the canopy. Yeah, missing the canopy, but still a very cool looking ship. Yeah. Where are those bug droids? <laughs> yeah, all right. They're falling off. <laughs> all right, I'm here at, at Vintage and Modern Toy Fair with Costa. Yep. How are you doing today, Costa? Fantastic, Neil. And um, right. we've made a deal. It's a deal of the century. It's the new generation ring and the three figures. We've got the ultimate Macho Man right here. And inside this bad boy, we have the doink. And who else? Who else came? It was the... Is it? Alex, who else is in the box? It's doink and Kevin Nash. Yeah, Kevin. Big Kev. Big sexy. So um, we've made a deal. We won't disclose how much cost up, but it was a big boy purchase, wasn't it? Was it was a big boy purchase. Absolutely. And I'm throwing in the bushwhackers as well. If I can release them from the ropes. They got tied up. There they are, there. Boom. So Costa's going home a very happy man. Sure am. Absolutely. Thanks, heaps. No wackers. Alright, we're here uh, with Maddie and Gianni. It's coming to the end of uh, the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair for one more day, but we've got so many toys here. Look at this this epic edge figure. Look at that. How is he still just chilling in, in the in the two dollar bin for so long? Maybe because he's not two dollars. <laughs> if only he was two dollars, he'd be gone. Here you go. Do you guys have fun today? Yeah, it was great today. Not bad. Beautiful. Could have sold a bit more, but it was a bit Next slow at first, but it picked up a bit. Yeah, I feel like it, it was more busy at the end of the day. Yeah. More purchases at the end, so there you go. All right, boys, we'll see you next time on the button. See ya. Oh, yeah. All right, we've made it to another, an e the end of another. Absolutely. Vintage and modern toy. Yeah, yeah, it's been an awesome day. We've had a great day. Lots of stuff sold. Fortunately, not too much money spent. Yes. Isn't that right, Dave? Yeah. Same. I only spent a little <laughs> bit of coin 
And did you spend any coin? No, I managed to keep all my money in my pocket this, this year, so this week, or oh, this month. This month? Yeah. We'll be back though, oh, very yeah. soon. For sure, 100%, we'll be back. And uh, yeah, for more, more bargains and more toy hunting and more everything nostalgic, make sure you keep your eyes glued to Nostalgia Button. All right? Hit that subscribe. Hit the like button. That's hit it. the subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. And give us a thumbs up. One of those. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, John. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. Hey. What's up, everybody? Back in the man cave, or the uh, the Sis Dog and the Dan Cat Cave for Nostalgia Button this week. A little bit of follow up, a little bit of um, uh, catching up on the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair and uh, a couple of other little additions to the, uh, to the, to the channel right here. Um, but first I'm gonna get to the pickups that I purchased at uh, the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. First off, Bo Stewart. I got this amazing uh, WWF beanie off his stall. He had so much great stuff. Um, I didn't actually get any interactions with him on the video, unfortunately, but at the end of the day, I did grab this off him. So that'll keep me warm when I'm up at Generations in Jazz this weekend. Oh my goodness. Talking of headwear, Gianni, you might have noticed this from the thumbnail this week. Gianni Italiano gifted me the W, the, the Zack Ryder. <laughs> This Zack Ryder beanie uh, hair thing. Maybe I'll wear this up, up up at camp. I'll be definitely not. I won't be warm, but I'll be. I'll look ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Gianni. What a legend. And the piece de resistance. Now Matt from Keep On Collecting actually gifted one of these to the channel. But when I saw a mint on card one on Figman Five Thousands um stall you saw him throughout the uh, the, cha the the video this week i couldn't pass it up mint on card jackie 10 bucks i know you looked after me on that price mate i really appreciate it look at that mint on card jackie's um signature series um <clears throat> wrestlemania 15 bone crunch and action action figure look at that so awesome but what is this giant thing that's in the frame well let's fire it up and find out New computer! Gianni Grasso! You legend! You hooked me up with a brand new machine to do all my editing on. Usually I was working my work using my work laptop for the past year or so or doing all my editing and um, it just it was too slow. This bad boy right here, super fast. So I'll get some nice B-roll here right now of all the inner workings. I'll turn the lights off so you can see all the LEDs flashing. But thank you so much, Gianni Grasso, for um, uh, for hooking me up with this amazing machine. So all my edits now are super smooth Just like uh, with John at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair I said make sure you don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and put those bell notifications turned on So you never miss an upload. I'll see you next week in the Selger button fam. Oh, yeah What's on the button? I think it's still the Power Rangers It's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with Rangers this week. See you guys What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chase the dream. I gotta intercept that 